Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through the tutorial for all level physics. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the solutions for your NAB for the year 2019 of physics paper 2, all level, and particularly question 7. Now, where necessary, the following constants can be used. So this is the very question I left in the previous video and I believe by now you have already tried it out and ready to mark yourself and check your progress. So shall start with question 7 part A. Part A says state the use of the following in wiring a building Roman 1, a fuse Roman 2, the switch and Roman 3 earth connection so let's first try part a so roman one we shall see that a fuse is a protective device which melts and breaks the circuit when current flows thus protecting the appliance now we shall go to Roman 2. Roman 2, they wanted the function of the switch. So we shall see that the switch controls the flow of current in a given circuit. Now we shall go to Roman 3. Roman 3, they wanted the function of earth connection. So, a thing provides an alternative route of the flow of current to earth in case an appliance is in contact with live wire. So, basically, that's what they wanted in part A. Now, we shall go to part B. Part B, we shall say that explain why the space in a filament is filled with an inert gas. So shall say that the inert gas prevents vaporization of filament which leads to darkening of the bulb. So that is the reason why we fill it with inert gas. I you can say that it minimizes the darkening of the bulb or prevents burning stroke oxidation chemical reactions. So basically that's what they wanted in part A and part B. Now we shall go to marking ourselves. So, function of a fuse, that is one mark. Function of a switch, that is also one mark. Function of the earth connection, that is also one mark. Then the reason for function of the inert gas in the space of a filament, that is also one mark. So basically, that's what they wanted in part A and part B. So now we shall go to part C, Roman 1. Part C, Roman 1 says, Briefly explain the operation of a DC motor and they give it six marks. So the first thing is to draw a well labeled diagram. So this is the diagram of a DC motor, but you have to label all these parts the A, B, C, D. What is it? B1, B2, what is it? And C1, C2, what is it? So the first thing to do is to label. So you come and say that A, B, C, D, which is this, so this is A, B, C, D, the whole of this is a rectangular coil. Then C1, C2 are the commutators. So this one and this one are what we call the commutators. B1, B2 are the carbon brushes. So this one and this one is what we call the carbon brushes. And lastly, capital N and capital S denote the north and south poles of a strong permanent magnet. So this is the north pole of a strong permanent magnet and this one is the south pole of a strong permanent magnet. So basically that's the labeling of a DC motor. So now we shall go to the action of a DC motor. We shall say, when the switch K is closed, 
current flows in the coil in the direction a b c d so when you close this switch k current will flow in this direction like this say so that it comes through it goes through the coil in the direction a b c d in that form So when it does so, we shall come and say that the wire arm AB experiences a downward force while arm CD experiences an upward force in accordance to Fleming's left hand rule. So the wire arm AB experiences a downward force while the wire arm CD experiences an upward force and that is in accordance to Fleming's left hand rule all that we shall say that the two forces form a couple turning the coil in an anti-clockwise direction so remember a couple is this these are two equal and positive forces whose lines of action never meet so in this case they form a couple and that couple makes the coil to rotate in an anti-clockwise direction like that so when the coil is vertical the commutators lose contact with the carbon brushes current does not flow in the coil but it but it moves due to inertia so this was supposed to be it so when this coil is vertical it means that there is no contact between the carbon brush and the commutators but the coil moves because of inertia then we shall say that after the vertical position C1 now connects to B2 and C2 connects to B1 so after it means that now C1 will will remember as it rotates it goes and it will now connect to B2 similarly C2 will move like that until it connects to B1 the direction of current in the coil thus reverses so the direction reverses AB now experiences an upward force uh, while CD experiences a downward force. Remember it has changed now this this part is now this side and this AB is now the other side. That is why AB experiences an upward force now and CD experiences a downward force now. So the direction of turning thus remains the same. So the direction remains the same and the process repeats itself. So not that why direction of turning is the same and the direction of the current reverses. So basically that's what they wanted and now we shall go to seeing how marks are awarded. So first, so any four, I think there are four which need to be labeled so those four will give you the two marks. So you don't just write this, you have to also draw a diagram. Next is for that first line will give you half a mark, second line will give you another half a mark. So first downward force for A B and also upward force for C D each is half half a mark. So the rotation is it anticlockwise or, or clockwise? So the, for you to say that's anticlockwise, that is also another half a mark. Then it, for it continue to move due to inertia is another half a mark. Then the direction of current reversing is also another half a mark. And the turning remaining the same is another half a mark. So basically, that's how the four marks would be got in the body. So when you join, add four to two, that's the six marks which they, were, they wanted in this question. So now we shall go to Roman 2, see Roman 2.
Suleiman II says that how can power of a motor be increased? So one of the way is by using high current. Another way is by increasing the mag the magnetic field strength. Another way is by increasing the number of turns of coil. Another way is by using soft iron core. Another way is by reducing friction on the bearings. Another is by increasing the area of cross section of the coil. So basically that's what they wanted in Roman 2. Now let's see Roman 3. Roman 3 says an electric water pump raises 0 0.9 kilograms of water through a 20 meters every second. Not that word every second. If the efficiency of the pump is 90% calculate the power supplied to the motor so you come here and say that work done by the motor is equal to weight times height so weight is got from mg whereby m is the mass which is 0 0.9 kilograms and g is 10 which is got from the table from our Constance. Now the height was 20 meters. It was given the question. So when is the calculator come up with work done by the motor being equal to 180 joules? All that we shall have to get the power output. Power output is equal to work done over time taken. So work done was 180 joules, but time taken was one second. Remember in the question they told us that every second so this word every second it means that the time taken is one now that you have got power output you come and remember that efficiency is equal to power output over power input multiplied by a hundred when it's absolute we are given efficiency as 90 percent and the power output we have calculated as it as 180 so when i substitute i remain with an unknown which is power input so when i make power input the subject i'll come up with my power input as 200 watts so basically that's what they want in now let's see how much can be awarded so any two of the reasons it is okay you get your two marks therefore this one getting work done by the motor that is one mark getting power output is another one mark Right, substituting in the formula for efficiency that is also on one mark, and then making getting the power input will be another one mark. So basically, that's how the four marks could be got. So I believe you have marked yourself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with another another one question which is of a C type for you to try out. That brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions for the assignment left will be available in the next video tutorial. So if you are not yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button below so that you can receive updates when the video with the solutions has been uploaded. Otherwise, thank you for watching and if you know of any student who is not yet on this platform, please share this link, the link of this video with them via their social media platforms like WhatsApp. Facebook server, they all benefit us, the family.